So what's going on with the price of car batteries lately and truck batteries? I mean, it hasn't been that long since I've bought a battery. And if I haven't mentioned it, I live in the desert in Arizona where these typical flooded lead batteries, they last three years. If the first cold day after the third summer, they die and they will not be revived no matter what you do. And I've tried welders and pulse chargers and the whole nine yards. They'll still provide power for a lot of things, but they're not going to crank a car anymore. So, and I've lived in the desert for about 32 years now. And that's been my experience. Your experience might differ. You know, I'm not, I'm not the end all of information on it, but that's been my experience with three or four vehicles every three years, first cold day after the third summer, they're toast. Last time, <laughs> shockingly enough, three years ago that I had to buy three batteries, I was calling all over town trying to find them, especially for the Grand Cherokee. I mean, there was only one place in town that had them, a Walmart, you know, about 15 miles south of me, and they had one, and it was the premium version. Of course, it was 195 bucks, which is an expensive battery for a Walmart battery. But even the other two vehicles, I didn't find anything under $180. Even the economy stuff was 180 bucks. And it didn't shock me that much because I think three years previous, it must be, it must have been about the same because like I say, 180 bucks and I wasn't that shocked. But this year I'm looking for batteries and I'm seeing, first thing I'm seeing is that um, O'Reilly has a, an economy level battery for 139 bucks. Once again, I was expecting to pay 180 to 200. And, um, and this is for my project car, the one I haven't unveiled yet. That video is probably coming up in a couple of days. 139 bucks for a for a 24F group battery, not a bad price. And then I'm looking at AutoZone has one for 79 bucks. Now, I haven't shopped at AutoZone in years and don't really want to for a number of different reasons. But um, wow, you know, to save some decent amount of money, I'd go to AutoZone. And then I looked at Walmart and Walmart had a battery for $69 and I couldn't believe it. So I bought it. Bought this with my own money. Walmart doesn't know me from Adam other than the fact that I seem like I spend way too much money there. But anyway, this is an Everstart value battery and it has a one year warranty. I forget where it says that on it. One year warranty free replacement. 600 CCA battery. And um, there's the part number. And look at the date code, 1024. This is October, what is it, October 23rd? Yeah, it's October 23rd, so, you know, this is a fresh battery. So I just thought it would be fun to, and I just got home with it a couple hours ago. I just thought it would be fun to put it on the Ancel battery tester I tested a while back. I'll put a link to that review below, and if necessary, I'll put my little battery maintainer on it just to make sure it keeps a charge. But let's test this thing. I have not done this yet. Let's say I just got home with it. Thought this would be a fun little video. If you guys know what's going on with battery prices and why they've been so high for so long, and all of a sudden now they're really low, let me know, because I'm really curious. And I also don't know why they fail every three years. I am not a electrician. Like I almost said electrician. I'm not a, sorry, all you electricians out there. I am not a battery expert, chemical expert, anything like that. So I don't know. So... This is a car battery, so I'm going to, can you see that screen? Enter on car battery. It's out of vehicle. It's a regular flooded battery. We're going to, the standard is CCA. And we have to go down, because I wish this was a little higher CCA, but because the vehicle, my project vehicle has a big block V8 in it. So um, 600 probably is a little low for it, but you know what? I'm a cheapskate, so there you go. Enter on 600 amps, and let's see what it says. 100% state of state of health is 100% good battery. 12.59 volts, cold cranking amps of 642. The resistance of 4.54, which is really low, which means it's good, and the standard is um 600. So good battery. So. I'm going to stick the maintainer on it because it may be it may be a couple of weeks before I need it. So let's just make sure that it it stays where we need it. Positive. 
negative. Let's see what this says. This says 12.5 volts. All right, so let's plug this in and see what it says. If it needs any kind of charge, I doubt if it does. So 13 volts now, 1.9 amp charging says it's only at 40%. So I've got, I bought three of these a while back off. Um, I think it was AliExpress and I have been really pleased with them and I will put a link to them below as well. Affiliate link, of course. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I mean, this saved me a bunch of money and um, we're going to be testing this battery out soon. Like I say, in a big block V8. It hasn't run in over 30 years, so it's going to get put to the test. Anyway, like I say, if you guys know what's going on with battery prices, let me know below. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick little video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.